Good morning, ladies and gents. Your boy Yushin. Hope you guys are doing well. So you guys might be thinking, you know, why are you pointing the camera in a kind of awkward position showing your upper chest? But that's kind of the point though, because uh, this is potentially the last time, you know, people will be seeing um, these two bare arms as well as uh, this upper part here being bare. Because today is the day, ladies and gents. I'm finally getting that tattoo I've wanted to get for a long time. It's something I've wanted to be doing for, something I've wanted to do for years, but I just never really had the uh, right opportunity until right now. So that's why, you know, I'm finally going for it. Can't wait, it's gonna be exciting. Should be pretty sick. So as for the design of the tattoo, it's actually from the movie um, 14 Blades, that, mo that uh, Hong Kong action movie with Donnie Yen. So the design I'm getting is basically the design that uh, Donnie Yen had in the movie. Um, he was playing like a Jin Wei officer of the Ming Dynasty. So it's kind of like a traditional Chinese style design, like a Ming Dynasty style um, tattoo. So, um, you know, I guess uh, you guys will get to see once uh, it's finally been done. You know, it's pretty sick. It looks really sick in my opinion anyway, so, you know, can't wait to get... So anyways, I gotta get ready. Gonna head out soon and, you know, get done. All right, guys. So I just got off the subway, and uh, I just gonna walk this way, and it should be like you know about four minutes uh, down the road. So this is uh, called Shanghai Lu Shanghai Road, but uh, despite the name, um, it kind of looks a little bit kind of like old-ish, not really uh, that new. And uh, someone it somewhat resembles like the Chinatown in some cities in like uh, Canada, as funny as it is, because most of the time, like you know, in China, um, a lot of like the neighborhoods and the streets they don't really like resemble um, you know the same kind of layout that uh, you would find in Chinatowns in Canada. So it's kind of a little bit ironic in that sense. But uh, yeah, anyways, what, you, what can you do? So just gonna go this way now, and uh, you know, about four minutes should be there. So see you guys when we get. A few minutes later. Yeah, man. So it looks like this is it, uh, Huang Ming. So um, they're not open yet, and they said that they're on the road. So you know, I gotta wait. Uh, I came here a little bit early because I was like, you know, a little bit uh, self-conscious. I might be late if I leave later. So that's why. You know, I came like an hour early, but uh, yeah, so just gonna chill and uh, wait till it opens in a bit. All right, so they finally opened and this is what the uh, reception area looks like. Yeah, so this is like one of the few um, licensed places that I can search up here. So that's why I decided to come to this one. But yeah, we'll see what how it goes in a few moments. Alright man, so you got the designs on, so this will go across my chest, and then um, they'll have like two more circling my arms, so yeah, go see when it's done. Many, many minutes later. Alright guys, so this is the preliminary results after today. So they pretty much finished the plaque in the middle with my name using ancient Chinese text. And as you can see, like the tattoo itself, um, the entire design is actually quite big. Like it goes across um, from both my arms. So, you know, like this. And then basically like, you know, goes into the center of my chest. So they couldn't finish, um, you know, inking in the dragons because um, like they're closing soon since it's uh, a spring festival or I guess Chinese New Year for people in the West. So... I gotta wait a while before I can like finish this entire design so you know it'll probably be like about a week before they open again so you know for now I'm just gonna chill and let this middle section right here heal so um 
yeah, basically like, you know, I can't uh, really do any exercises for one week and as well as, you know, going out in sunlight or like, you know, soaking my tattoo in water and stuff. So, I mean, just, uh, I guess I'll just pretty much be chilling and waiting for this to finish healing. And hopefully, you know, the ink will kind of, you know, stay as it is. It won't like fade out or smudge or anything as well, as long as I don't do anything like, you know, too crazy and whatever. So, um, pretty much like, you know, as for, um, getting the tattoo itself, like a lot of people who say, who've gone tattoos before say that it hurts. Um, I personally didn't really find it extremely like you know way too painful except maybe this part right here um yeah this part in the center of my chest like definitely um when they were inking in this part it's uh it actually did hurts quite a bit but um it also depends kind of like on um who's the one who's like pressing the needle against your skin so for example um for most of like the outline uh design it was the uh, tattoo master, the boss, who did it. So um, he actually pressed like the needle a little bit harder. So um, at some points, it actually hurts more. So for example, like you know, um, kind of like above the breasts, like this area, it will hurt a bit more, and as well as you know, close to um, pretty much like you know the inner arm. So pretty much like right here, and then as well as like um, on the shoulders. But uh, as for like the outer arm, so like pretty much like this area right here, uh, as well as like, you know, um, the part that connects the um, your arm to your chest, like right here, it uh, doesn't really hurt that much. Like it hurts less when they do it. But uh, yeah, like I said, it also depends on who's pressing the needle. So like, you know, the um, the master presses harder, so it hurt a bit more. Um, but then the... Um, but then the the plaque right here, like doing the lettering, it was actually like a um the apprentice who did that part. So he actually pressed the needle a little bit lighter, so um it didn't really like hurt that much. Like I basically felt nothing, like essentially. And as for like the um you know the painful sensation itself, um basically it only really feels like painful for the first few minutes but after a while your body just becomes like really numb so you just kind of like don't really feel the pain anymore you just kind of like you know just kind of go just like lie sit there or lie there or whatever and just like go with it while the needle is uh, doing its work so um what kind of like sensation you'll feel when the needle presses against your skin it's more just kind of like, you know, getting a light scratch by a cat or like someone pressing like a lead pencil or a pen and applying pressure to it. Well, it might, uh, for most people, it might feel a little bit more painful than that. But just for me personally, like, you know, that's pretty much what the sensation felt like. So for now, I just gotta wait till they reopen. They'll call me back and we'll get everything inked in and finished. Then I can show you guys the final product of what it looks like after it's all done. So for people out there who are maybe considering getting a tattoo themselves, um, my personal advice would be only get it if you're actually sure that you really want it, so like you're committed and you're actually going to go all in for it. If you're feeling a little bit hesitant, you're maybe having second thoughts or you're kind of like wavering about whether to do it or not, then I would say probably it's not worth it then because not only because um, the process itself can be quite painful depending on wh whether you're whether or not you're good at uh, being able to handle pain. But the other thing to consider is the fact that uh, tattoos in general can be quite pricey. Um, even though depending on which city you live in or which place you go to, some places can be a little bit cheaper than others. But uh, at the same time though, like in general, most uh, designs, even if it's just like a small design with that's only like te um, lettering or text, it can, also, it can still be pretty pricey. So... You know, if you're someone who's absolutely positively sure that you want to do it and you're able to deal with like a lot of pain, well, by most people's standards anyway, then, you know, go f by all means, uh, go for it. Definitely. You know, life is too short to be influenced by like, you know, so social stigmas or whatever. You know, if you really want it, then go for it for sure. So uh, I'll continue this video once uh, I go back and then, you know, you guys get to see the final product and it should look pretty sick in the end after it's all done. Alright guys, so this is it. So we're back here. It's uh, the end of February. 
yeah, the end of the holiday period and we're just getting it done just on time, I guess. So we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so we're taking a temporary break because uh, he has to help another customer like um, wash off a tattoo that she wants to get off. But um, yeah, as you can see, like, you know, the ink is still kind of fresh on here after it's been applied. And um, those are the needles that they are using to um, apply the ink. So basically, um, for like the larger sections, so for something like this right here, they use the one that has like, you know, three needles, so it covers like a larger area. And for these like smaller parts, it's like the one with a single puncture needle. But uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys like, you know, what it, what the process kind of looks like. And uh, yeah, we'll see once it end, once it's uh, done. A few minutes later Yeah guys, so we're on the final step now. See right here. It's pretty much almost all inked in so Just gotta finish up here, and then we're done many many minutes later all right, uh, Nushimen Centrumen, we finally finished. This is the final result. And look at that, man. Look how stylish and elegant that looks. That is just badass right here. Like a complete work of art. I mean, it's all finished. Uh, it's all linked in. And, uh, you know, this is pretty much what the chest looks like. And then you've got uh, the arms like this. Yeah, so like that. And uh, like so right here. So for this final stage right here, to most people this definitely will be quite painful. As opposed to what you guys saw the last time when they only really sketched the outline of the dragons and they only finished uh, the plaque in the middle. This time because they're actually applying color to the whole thing, you're quite literally sitting or lying there for the entire day. And uh, you know, the needle is constantly prodding into your body applying the ink and also you lose quite a bit of blood as well and your body temperature will start to drop so pretty much by the end of it you'll be like shivering a lot and you have to like quickly cover yourself up um yeah because uh, of the size of this design like it actually quite literally took the entire day from morning to evening to finish it so yeah it was quite a excruciating process i guess um for me personally, like, uh, I, I only really felt pain for the first few minutes when the needle was just being stuck into my body after like a while. Um, but after a few minutes, uh, you eventually get used to that sensation, like your body starts to go numb. So you don't really feel like, you know, um, that much pain um, after the, the first few minutes. But right after like it's done at the end when everything is finished and you get up again, that's kind of when the pain jumps back up to like 11. So then you will just, uh, you, you quite literally will just not be able to like move your body where the tattoo is. So for example, like I could, I literally could not move my arms or my shoulders. Like as soon as it was done, like the guy had to help me, um, put my shirt back on and help me like get dressed. Cause, uh, yeah, like, I mean the, my, my arms and my shoulders were just completely dead. Like right after it was, uh, the pain just like kind of comes back again like as soon as it's finished. So yeah, barring my usual, um, you know, very boring monotone voice, hopefully you guys found this uh, video interesting and got a better idea of the process of getting like an actual tattoo. So one thing I will say is that um, try to find a place where you can actually negotiate the price with the owner beforehand. 
because uh, what happens for a lot of uh, tattoo places that tr that charge by the hour is that usually you would kind of underestimate the time it takes to actually like, you know, finish the whole thing. Like if you go to a place where they charge by the hour and even if you get like a really small tattoo, it could take quite literally over an hour. So you might be paying quite a lot. So, I mean, uh, obviously for this one right here, like it actually took like, you know, two, like, you know, two full days to do. So the first day and also the second day when they finish the whole thing. So, um, you know, if they charge by the hour, I'd actually be, be paying like, you know, quite a lot more. So that's why, like, luckily I managed to find a place where not only was, um, did it have a really good reputation, it got like, you know, five star rating, but also like, you know, obviously you can negotiate with the owner about the price beforehand. So you're not getting like ripped off or whatever. So, um, yeah, like, you know, that, that's kind of my advice. If you're actually serious about getting a tattoo, like, you know, try to find a place where you can like, you know, bargain for the price. And also, obviously, like, the, the place has, like, has, like, a really good reputation as, like, clean needles and whatever. Because, um, you know, you, you definitely need to make sure that the needles uh, they're using are, like, clean and sanitized. Otherwise, uh, you know, it could have pretty detrimental effects on, onto your body. Because, uh, essentially, like, um, the tattoo is kind of like an open wound. Essentially, that, you, that your body needs to take time to heal like as soon as it's finished so that's why you know because the ink is being entered into your skin like um it has to be clean and you know whatnot but yeah so like i said before um you know i i i definitely would say only really go for it if you're actually like 100 percent serious you really want to do it like you know because um and also be prepared to potentially deal with uh, quite a bit of pain in the process but uh, yeah, that's it for, you know, my tattoo journey video. Um, hopefully it wasn't really, it wasn't uh, too boring for you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys had uh, got to have some fun seeing me getting my tattoo. So yeah, as usual, if you guys liked what you got to see, cool. If not, uh, thanks for watching.